Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new studio vlog. It is the week after I updated my website and relaunched it with my brand new branding and changed the name over from Plan Inspire Create to Sunshine Lane and oh, I just am still so excited. I've been getting some lovely comments and messages from people saying how much they like it, how much it suits the brand and I just want to say thank you so much because I think it's things like that that spur me on to keep going and that give me that reassurance that I am moving in the right direction and that this all makes sense in other people's heads, not just mine. So thank you so, so much. When I left you in the last vlog, I was launching the website and I had hidden some discount codes on the website. I think I made it a bit too hard because a few people were saying, I can't find any and I've even looked in the terms and conditions, um, but, all the codes have now gone um, and thank you to everyone who placed orders on the website, I really appreciate it and my plan is to get those packed today. I haven't got 100% of the new packaging, I'm still waiting for some labels to arrive to seal the envelopes with that I've got my new branding on, they should be with me soon, today possibly, but I'm going to get on and pack the orders anyway because there was always gonna be a little transition period and I want people to receive their orders as soon as possible. So let's get packing. <laughs> when you order Lucky Dips and I get to pick some lovely items to put together that I think that you'll like and this is the one I put together for Sarah. I also check and see what you've ordered before so that I can try and bring you some items you've not had before 
And I also include things that aren't available in the shop. So they might be things from past Patreon boxes, things I've included as kind of one-off special gifts for events before. And so it's a chance to get some exclusive stuff too. I have to say that the office is in chaos. <laughs> I had a lot of new stock delivered, like restocks of pins, rings, the new packaging, all those things. And I haven't had chance to put anything away. Um, and looking at the shelves and like the storage systems I'd got, it was all getting a bit higgledy-piggledy for want of a better word. Um, and the tubs I've got weren't really big enough. And so I've taken the plunge and ordered some new cardboard storage containers um, that I've seen catnip use in her studio and they seem a much better size and easy to work with. So my plan is today to get on with reorganizing the stock Hey everyone, I am in a panic. Um, all of my calendars have been delivered. You just saw me getting them out of the box and I was just gonna start packing them ready to send out to the people that pre-ordered and I was super excited. And then I was flicking through the calendar and suddenly I had a massive panic because there's no holes drilled in them so you can't hang them up. Um, I ordered two samples, which I showed in the last vlog. They're here. And you see there's like a drilled hole in them. That's how I had them produced. And so you would hang it up there on a nail or a hook or whatever. And then when you fold it up, the next page has a hole and so on. And I've ordered 80 calendars and they haven't got drilled holes which is such a waste. And I'm obviously slightly panicking that that's my fault, but I've looked at the packing slip and it says drilled holes, calendar hole. So I need to contact the supplier and find out what's going on, but I'm quite upset because I wanted to photograph them tomorrow and get updated photos on the website and I obviously wanted to, yeah, get them sent out because it's the beginning of November now and I just want people to have them in plenty of time. But let me contact them and see what they say. So the manufacturers have just said that I need to send them an email and they'll look into it. I don't know what there is to look into. Um, so while they do that, I am gonna distract myself with reorganizing the office a little bit. Now I've had a bit of a swap around, you may have noticed, because I don't normally sit over this side of the office. However, it wasn't really working for me how I set it up originally. So if I show you here, here. There's a little island here and that was a bank of five desks and I was working on one and a half. The one on the end has my printers and then around the other side I had my big paper cutter and it wasn't a very efficient use of space. Having the big paper cutter there 
kind of took up most of that space. I had the heat press next to me, which then just kind of overspilled. And those desks were really supposed to be for one, crafting time with my mum and just me doing craft projects and stuff like that and two probably more importantly to have an open space for if I'm producing products I need to get a bit of a production line going I've got things going in and out and packaging orders for stockists etc um however having like printers tiny gap paper cutter tiny gap and like me trying to work on there it just wasn't an efficient use of space and what it meant was all the piles of stuff to be done were sort of over spilling onto me and I felt like I couldn't concentrate because all I could see was this mountain of stuff and so when I needed to concentrate on computer work I just couldn't focus because all I could see was all these other things competing for my attention saying finish me so yeah I have had a swap round. So I've taken two of the desks and pushed them right up against the wall where the sofa was. Let me give you a little tour. So this area is where my yellow sofa was and I've moved that over the other side of the room. I've actually put my old desk in here in this little gap that just had blankets that Maggie would lie in and my big paper cutter is on there and I'll probably put that notice board up on the wall. But this just means that I've got a bigger space for doing my computer work and anything else that I need to sit at my desk and do and I've got my back on all the rest of the things that need doing and I can just knuckle down and focus and that's been working really well. Then I've got my island in the middle which is smaller but much more effective. I've just got the one printer on here and at the minute there is a whole bunch of a project in progress that I can't show you just yet so I'm not going to show you up close but yeah, that is working much, much better. And I actually had my mum come over last Sunday and we did some planning here and I cleaned the projects off and we just had a space to sit and chat, which was lovely. You're just gonna have to excuse the mess, but there's my yellow sofa now by the door. And then we've got the packing area as it was. So that's working better. I do want to put some decor up here. Um, and this is where the wall calendar is going to go. I'm so excited for that. I know it's a touchy subject right now, but that is where my wall calendar is going to go. And then the other thing that I need to reorganize is my stock. So this is the system that I've had. It's currently being basked in the warm glow of the heater. Um, and I've got washies on here. This was pins and everything had run out and I've had a big restock but it's not really functioning and I've bought some bigger storage containers that I saw Catnip using on her channel because something that wasn't working for me is how it's all kind of we've got some of this container some of that container I don't know what's for what and yeah it's just not very uniform I can't really put the pins on the edge to show what's what um, so I want to pull those out and reorganize the new stock and also because I've had all my new packaging delivered that I showed you in last week's vlog this is just some of it um, there's also a big box of backing cards under here um, I want to also maybe use some of these containers that I'm not using for pins for packaging storage so let's have a go and see how it turns out
I'm very happy that I finally added some bits of decor around my desk as well as having a big sort out. So I've now got my new calendar up on the wall. I'm probably going to leave it on the monthly calendar that's like, yeah, the overview of the year until it's January. But I want to put it up because I'm excited that they're finally here. And then... I've got new pen pots and things that I'm going to sort out and this is just my planning stuff under there. Then I've got my laptop, my screen and then on this desk I also have my label maker so when I'm printing shipping labels it's all connected up to my laptop and they'll just automatically come out of the label maker. And then I've had fun decorating up here and I'm really happy with how it looks. So this is the Barbie monologue, the monologue that America Ferreira does in the Barbie movie about how it's impossible to be a woman. Um, and this is from the lovely Lottie at Just My Typeface. Um, she also runs Mama Makes, so you might know her business already. I'll leave it in the description. And then on my notice board I've got a collection of things that I've either been sent by people or just pops of decoration so I've got my little squidgy lemon up here because he's just super cute and then a couple of cards that I got from people and um, this one's from one of my patrons Becca and this one's from the lovely Vicky who I met at the Midlands Planner Meet and then I've got this little cute little acorn which is off my friend Joe. Um, I'd rather be at home with my dog because obviously and then these little charms were from Vicky as well and they say I can beautiful inspire and fearless and then just a little daisy this little affirmation card was it's a leftover one from some patreon boxes I did a while ago and it says never trust your fears they don't know your strengths this postcard is from my lovely patron Anna from Canada it says you are awesome sauce which is something that she says a lot and she wrote me a lovely letter and sent me this postcard and some matching stickers and then these little charms here are from the lovely Vic who is also a patron of mine now actually and every time we've been to a planner event she's given me one of these little charms which say the names of the events on this little postcard here, I believe, is from Cressida Rose Planners. I can't remember where I got it from now, but it says, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. So I wanted some nice inspirational stuff up there. This key ring was from the Southwest Planner Club event and it says, planner friends make the best friends. Then this little pocket hug is from my mom. This dare to dream is from Arlene, who I also met at the Midlands event. And then this is a picture from the Midlands Planner Meet earlier this year um, and a bunch of us who are in my Patreon community grabbed a quick picture together so there's one two three four five six of us there all together which was a lovely day and nice to see people in person and then I've just got a couple of cute little pumpkins for the season and then my minimal desk calendar with the monthly calendar cards so I think it's super cute and a nice mixture of stuff that is meaningful to me that people have sent me gifts from people and kind of inspirational motivational stuff and then over here I have reorganized all my pins and I've kind of left it at just the pins for now but I've got loads more of these cardboard bins and as I introduce new product lines over time I'll add more in and reshuffle the shelves and things but what I have essentially done if I show you this one the mascara one um, I've got all my backing cards at the back you can see it better now I've got all my backing cards at the back and then all the pins and then I intend to have a kind of stack of ones that are already put together on top and just do those in batches but it means I've got everything I need for each pin all together and then the same for my pocket hearts I've got all the hearts in here if you can hear that and then all the backing cards and then these are end of line pins so I haven't transferred those over I probably will do the same with key rings at some point and washi tapes but I love the cute yellow baskets so they're staying for now. So I've got my cute little chill area which is a little bit of a mess at the moment. Um, this little cushion here it says squeeze the day it's got these cute little lemons on that was a gift from again one of my patrons Becca who's really lovely um, so I chill out over there I draw over there Maggie, my dog, chills with me over there. I was doing some stuff on this central island, so they need dropping back down again. But 
this is now clear to enable me to do projects, sorting out, packing orders for stockists, all of that in the middle, and it not be piling over onto where I'm trying to work. So I can kind of leave those jobs for a bit and come back to it and I've not got to clear it and put everything away. This desk has gone up this morning and the intention is that it will house my printers. My heat press is there at the back. In next week's vlog, I am going to be experimenting with the heat press and I'm so excited. And then I just have some craft drawers here that are going to be tucked underneath. I just need to raise the desk up a bit. And then we're back to my lovely work area. So this week was very much a getting things organised week. It's coming up to a really busy season, obviously, ahead of Christmas. And the storage systems that I set up initially weren't all working for stuff or things weren't in the right place in terms of where I actually do tasks. And I think what I said to myself when I was putting this office together originally, if you haven't seen the Mammoth office setup video and the office tour, I will leave them linked below because they're a fun watch, I think. I did say to myself at that time, you just need to get it how you think it'll go, don't agonise over it, and you can just switch things around over time when you see what works and what doesn't. And I think that's what's happened really. And also it's nice to be adding in more personal bits on the walls and stuff, and it's really starting to feel bedded in and like, it's not just an empty white shell anymore, like it reflects me and Sunshine Lane, which, I'm just super excited about. I've had emails from some of my stockists saying that obviously they're going into the busiest period and they need restocks of some of my products, which is super exciting. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of that this week. And I think I've really created the space to do that. And I've organized the stock, so it's just gonna be efficient in terms of getting out what I need. So I'm really excited. It's definitely gonna be a busy week ahead next week because as you're watching this, this week, Monday to Friday I will be working, but Friday we're actually going to London for the weekend. I do plan on popping into the curated makers pop-up that my products are stocked in, so I will bring you along for that. I'm gonna be in London for the weekend looking after my lovely cousin's little boy. It's Liam's cousins, but they're not like my cousins really. And so that's gonna be a fun weekend, spending time with family. Then I can work the Monday, and then Monday night I'm going to see Hamilton. Then I'm going away with my mum from Tuesday to Sunday to a craft hotel. So I might bring you along for some of that. And then when I get back, I've got my first two days of training to be an adopter. So I've mentioned before on these vlogs and on my website and stuff that we are looking to adopt a child and we're going through that process. So we've got the first two days of training so that's a really big chunk of time where I'm not going to be able to be in the office much and so this week I really wanted to get all the organization done so that this coming week before I start the mad sprint of events I can really knuckle down get everybody the things they need focus on photographing what needs photographing, making what needs making, but also I really want to have a play with the new heat press and try and bring out a new product ahead of Christmas. So, all of us to say, it's exciting times over here and I'm juggling business and work. No, I'm clearly not juggling it, try again. I'm juggling business and personal as best I can and making the most of the opportunities with both as much as I can. And although I'm getting a bit tired at times, it's just all really exciting. And I just wanna say thank you so, so much for all your support. It really does mean the world. So yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know if you like the vlog. Let me know you're here. I love knowing who's watching the vlogs. Leave me a like and don't forget to check out our lovely Patreon community. If you want a little bit more sunshine, I will leave a link down below so that you can find out more. So take care everyone and I will speak to you soon. Bye.